Hello everyone and welcome back to CEPAX tutorial channel and this is our situation number 25 for C board exam May 2017 and also nag-appear din siya noong November 2012 for structural engineering and construction so this subject is under sa ano pre-stress concrete design ayan so before natin siya isolve please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel the pre-stress hollow core slab used for flooring is pre-stressed by the force 820 kN at an eccentricity of 63 mm from its neutral axis. It is simply supported on a span of 8 meters. Allowable stresses at service loads are 2.0 MPa in tension and 15.5 MPa in compression. Consider a 15% loss of pre stress at service loads. The area of the slab is 1.4 times 10 raised to 5 mm squared. The section modulus for the top and bottom fiber is 6.8 times 10 raised to 6 mm cube. A is 1.20 meters and B is 200 mm. The slab weight is 2.7 kPa. Superimposed dead load is 2.0 kPa and live load is 2.9 kPa. So take note dito ha, sinabi niya na superimposed dead load. Pero alam din naman natin, di ba, na ang slab weight is also a dead load. So anong ibig sabihin ng superimposed? Ibig sabihin lamang nun ay additional dead load bukod dun sa own weight ng ating structure or member. Okay? Kaya tinawag siya superimposed dead load. And then ito yung itsura ng ating slab. Ayan. Okay, so ano ba pinapahanap sa number 1? Compute the stress of the top fibers of the slab at the ends due to the initial pre-stressing force. So pag sinabi natin ano, initial pre-stressing force, no loss. Okay, no loss in the uh, pre-stressing force. So yung pre-stressing force na isa subject natin to sa ating slab is 820 kN ng buo hindi natin i-apply yung 15% loss. So, pakita rin natin kung nasaan yung ating neutral axis. Siyempre, makita nyo naman na ang ating neutral axis dito is obvious na nasa gitna ng ating slab. Yan. So, ito yung ating neutral axis. Tapos, yung ating, ano, um, eccentricity is 63 mm from that um, neutral axis. So, solve natin yung number 1. Okay, um, top na, no? top fiber. So, F is equivalent to, kung babalikan ninyo yung concept ng ano, uh, pre-stress, yung ating pre-stressing force is in compression. Okay, i-compress natin yung member natin. So, that is negative. P over area ng ating um, section. Then, dito, it's either plus or minus. Depende kasi siya. No, then this is multiplied by P. Ah, sorry, sorry. P multiplied by E. Then C over INA. Or the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis. So dito, wala tayong given na neutral axis, no? Pero pwede natin makuha yung C. Pero mahirapan tayo kapag kukuha natin yung, ano, yung, uh, Moment of inertia with respect to neutral axis. Pero meron man tayong given na section modulus. And hindi ba ang ating section modulus is equivalent to uh, moment of inertia over C. Yan. So kung babalik pa rin natin to, ibig sabihin ang ating uh, C over I is equivalent to 1 over S. Kaya ito nyan, sa substitute natin dito is you 1 over S. Kaya, ito ay over S na lamang. Then, uh, initial pre-stress force lang naman ang sinasabi sa number 1. So, ibig sabihin, hindi natin isasama yung moment effect due to different loadings. So, ito na yan. Then, uh, paano natin makukuha to Kasi top eh. Top yung gusto natin makuha dyan. So, dito tayo nakapokus, hindi ba? So, since simply supported siya, ayan. So, simply supported dyan, ibig sabihin positive bending yung mangyayari sa ating slab. So, kung positive bending yan, yung ating top fiber ay under sa compression. 
yung atin namang bottom fiber ay under sa tension. And saan ba natin nilalagay ang ating ano, pre-stressing tendons? Sa tension fiber. Kasi nga, ang gusto natin ma-eliminate is yung tensile stresses para sa concrete. Kasi kapag tensile nga, ang nangyari, nakatrap yung ating concrete. Pero kung ilalagay natin dyan yung pre-stressing force, ibig sabihin na subject yung ating bottom fiber sa compression uh, or compressive force and mababawasan yung ating tensile stress. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating F-top is compression, no? Ayan. So, mangyari dyan, kung dito yung ating pre-stressing force, ayan, sabi natin dyan yung pre-stressing force natin, ito yung ating pre-stressing force, P, ibig sabihin, under sa compression, yung bottom, then i-equal yung ating P na papunta dito, then yung ating top fiber, due to P, ha, due to P, is under sa tension. And kapag tension, positive compression, negative. Ibig sabihin, ang ating f top is equivalent to negative P over A. Then, tension ang top. Therefore, positive P multiplied by eccentricity over S. Okay? So, ilan ba yung ating P? 820 kN, no? Sige, pakita na natin yung solution. Ang P natin is 820 Then, gusto natin siyang gawing ano, uh, Newton para maging me megapascal. Then, ang area is 1.4 times 10 raised to 5. Then, plus P, 820 times 10 raised to 3. Multiplied by eccentricity na 63 over S. Ang S natin ay 6.8 times 10 raised to 6. So, makukuha natin ang f -top. Kung napapansin nyo, dalawa yung ating 820, no? So, gawin na natin alpha A yun. Alpha A, then, times 10 raised to 3, over area, 1.4 times 10 raised to 5, plus alpha A, times 10 raised to 3, multiplied by 63, over 6.8 times 10 raised to 6. Then, A natin is 820. So, 1.74. Positive ang nakuha natin. So, positive 1.74 megapascal. So, since positive, ibig sabihin yung ating top fiber ay under sa tensile force. Or sorry, sorry. Tensile stress. So, tension. Ayan. Pero, kung gusto naman ninyong ano, matutunan yung concept ng pre-stress concrete design, meron rin kami playlist niya sa YouTube. Ayan. So, punta lang tayo sa playlist na pre-stress concrete. Meron kami ditong introduction kung talaga paano natin ano, uh, malalaman kung ano yung mga equations or ano yung mga signs na meron sa top and bottom fiber. Kasi hindi siya laging ano, positive sa top, then negative sa bottom. Depende yan. Okay? Then, kapag binuksan nyo yung introduction, ito yan. Meron kaming uh, three parts ng introduction. Then, we have how many problems? Okay, six problems. Okay, na sinol gamit ang pre-stress concrete design concept. Yeah. Then, so natin number 2. Determine the resulting stress at the top fiber of the slab at mid-span. Okay, mid-span due to the loads and the pre-stress force. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron na tayong loads na inaalala, i-apply na natin to Yung superimposed dead load and syempre yung slab weight. Pero, ang tanong, anong pre-stressing force ang gagamitin natin? So, since ina apply na natin ng, ng load yung ating slab, ibig sabihin, gagamitin na natin siya. So, kung gagamitin na natin siya, magkakaroon na tayo ng 15% loss. Kaya, yung ating P na dito, hindi na siya tinatawag as initial P. Ito kasi initial P. Tatawagin na natin siya as P effective. At ang ating P effective is equivalent to initial P multiplied by 1 minus percentage loss. So, 820 minus, or sorry, sorry, multiplied by 1 minus 15%. So, 697 kilo newton na lamang yung ating effective force. Kasi sinasabi atin dito na ano eh, na parang 
kapag ginagamit na natin siya, humihina na yung ating ano, pre-stressing force due to different uh, due to different losses. Marami yun. Nung nag-aaral kami sa masteral, iba-iba yun eh. Pwedeng dun sa ano, jack or pwedeng dun sa ano, parang nag-lose na yung, ano, yung tendon, parang ganun. So dahil dun, uh, lumiliit or ano, uh, bumababa yung ating pre-stressing force. Yan. Tapos solve natin yung mga weight, no? Yung total weight natin. Oh, meron pa parang live load, no? Anyway. Sige, solve natin yung dead load. WDL is equivalent to, this is 2.0, no? Kilopascal. So, kailangan natin siyang i-multiply ng A para maging kilo newton per meter. So, this is a slab weight, 2.7. Then, plus 2.0. Then, multiply natin ng 1.20. Five point sixty four kilo newton per meter. Ano yung ating WLL is two point nine multiplied by one point twenty. Meron pa bang ibang loadings? Ako yun lang. So two point nine multiplied by one point twenty. Three point forty eight kilo newton per meters. So ang total weight natin is Uh, WDL plus WLL. Hindi tayo gumagamit dito ng ano ah, yung factored loadings kasi ang concept ng ating ano, uh, pre-stress concrete ay based lamang sa WSD or yung tinatawag natin na working stress design or working strength design. So kapag working stress, ang ginagamit lang natin ay mga service loads. Okay? Yung mga service loadings na yan. Ipag-add lang natin sila. So 5.64 plus 3.48 9.12 kilo newton meter. And since simply supported span siya, ang kukuha natin na moment at mid span is yan, is equivalent to WT L squared over 8. Hindi ba yan yung ating maximum moment at the mid span sa simply supported pin? So 9.12 multiplied by L which is 8 meters over 8. So, 72.96, tama ba? Ayan. 96 kilo newton meter. So, top pa ang binapanap. Okay, so top. So, ang ating F top niyan is equivalent to negative P effective over area. Then, wala pa rin pinagbago, no? Yung top fiber natin is under sa tension due to pre-stressing force. Kaya, positive P Effective multiplied by E over S. And then, yung ating moment is sa top, no? Compression. Diba? So, since nag-bend na siya dito, gamit yung mga loadings natin, yung ating top fiber ay under sa compression. Therefore, negative moment, then multiplied by C over I. Eh, kaso, wala tayong I, pero ang C over I natin is 1 over S. So, this is divided by I. Yes. So, siguro hindi ko na ipapakita yung solution. Medyo matagalan tayo eh. So, dito na lang sa calculator. So, negative alpha A na lang to. Multiplied by uh, 10 raised to 3 over A. 1.4. Okay. Times 10 raised to 5. 10 plus P effective. Multiplied by 10 raised to 3. Multiplied by E na 63. Over S. Na 6.8 times 10 raised to 6. And then minus, or gawin ito ano, alpha B. Ayan. Then, minus moment. Ang moment natin dapat times 10 raised to 6 kasi newton millimeter dapat para mag mega pascal yung mga sagot natin. So, 72.96 times 10 raised to 6 over S. B. So, ang A natin ay 697. Ang B naman natin ay 6.8 times 10 raised to 6. So, negative 9.25. Mega Pascal. So, since negative yung nangyari sa ating uh, top fiber under sa loads and pre-stress force, ibig sabihin, under sa compression niya. At yan yung gusto natin mangyari, actually. Na, sa final stage, actually, final stage na to eh, sa final stage ng ating pre-stressing 
force or sorry pre-stress concrete yung makukuha natin ng mga stresses sa ating uh, member is under lahat sa compression mapatakman or uh, bottom fiber kasi dun nga uh, malakas ang ating concrete number three determine the maximum total load kira nyo itong per meter including its own weight and that the slab can be subjected to if the allowable stress at service loads are not to be exceeded. Eh, ang ating allowable stresses dito ay dalawa. 2.0 megapascal in tension and 15.5 uh, megapascal in compression. So, yun yung pupunin natin. So, alam natin na ang ating F-top is equivalent to 15.5 compression or gamitin negative. Yes. Negative 15.5 mega Pascal and yung ating F bottom naman is yung 2.0 megapascal. Eh saan ba natin or saan ba natin kukunin yung ano, yung ating maximum total load? Dun sa moment. Ito, di ba? So ibig sabihin kailangan natin makuha tong moment na to para makuha itong W na to. So mula rito sa equation na yan, yung ating F top is equivalent to negative be effective over area plus be effective multiplied by E over S then minus M over S na kung saan ang isasubstitute natin na F top ay equivalent sa negative 15.5 tapos ang atin namang F bottom is equivalent to negative P effective over area then Ang bottom fiber natin sa ating pre-stressing force is negative kasi compression siya. So, negative multiplied by E over S. Then, ang bottom fiber natin due to loadings or moment is positive kasi tension. So, M over S. So, gawin natin itong M1. Ito naman, M2. So, makukuha natin ng M1 and M2. So, ang F-top natin is equivalent to negative 15.5, hindi ba? Tapos, ang A natin is 697. 6, 9, ah, yes, ginamit ko lang yung kaninang, ano, pinum, ah, ginamit natin sa number 2. Kasi, siya, siya rin naman, hindi ba? Ang mangyari lang yan, unknown yung, ano, yung ating M1. So, ilan ba to? 6.8 times 10 raised to 6. Ito ang magiging unknown natin. Gawin natin siyang X. Then, multiplied by 10 raised to 6 para... Ang makukuha natin M1 is kilonewton meter. This is 6.8 times 10 raised to 6. Ayan. So, ang M1 natin is 115.457. Kilo, newton, meter. Then, yung M2 naman natin. Ang F bottom natin is positive 2.0. And this is... Okay, negative. P effective. Tapos ito naman is positive. Ayan. Ito naman is 91.365. Ah? Okay, 365. So, syempre, ito yung moment na dadalihin ng ating slab. So, anong pipili natin? Yung pinakamaliit. Kasi kapag yung pinakamalaki ang kukunin natin, mag-fail yung ating member. So, ito yung pipili natin, yung pinakamaliit. So, mula dyan, makukuha na natin yung total kilo nyo, uh, I mean, total uh, loads, okay, na kasama naman yung own weight. So, WT is equivalent to moment, okay, so M2 multiplied by 8 over L squared. So, 91.365 multiplied by 8 over 8 squared. So, 11. 42 kilo newton per meter. Pero, kung ang tanong naman, kasi meron mga ganun tanong sa board exam eh, kung ang tanong naman ay maximum loadings, pero labas yung own weight, ito yun. Or yung tinatawag natin ano, ay yes, naalala ko na, maximum, ito yung question, maximum superimpose load. E eh, ba, ang superimpose natin dyan is itong mga to. Yung dead load. Ito. Dead load saka live load. Hindi ba? So, ibig sabihin, mula rito sa total loads natin, 
ibabawas natin yung weight. Okay, yung weight ng ating member. So, ngayon, ang ating W additional is equivalent to 11.42 minus 2.7 multiplied by 1.2. 8.18 kilo newton per meters. Kung sakali lang na maipapasagot na ganyang ano, uh, or pinapakuha na ganyang uh, unknown dun sa problem. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, yun nga, sabi ko lang sa inyo, kailangan lang kasi is practice talaga ninyo yung paggamit ng equation natin sa ating pre-stress concrete design. Mapa top man yan or mapa bottom, dapat hindi kayo narilito. Kasi to be honest, nung nagre-review ako sa board exam, ang ginagawa ko, minememorize ko to. <laughs> minememorize ko siya yung ano, plus, minus. Pero without realizing na pwede pala siya magbago, pwede kasi yung maging ano, uh, negative then plus. Dapat lang ninyong alamin kung nasaan or saan nakaposisyon yung ating P or yung ating pre-stressing tendon. And sabi ko nga kanina, ilalagay natin or ilolocate natin yung ating pre-stressing tendon sa kung saan mayroong tension or tensile stresses due to different loadings. And kanina nga, nag-positive uh, nag bending tayo due to loads. So since ang ating bottom fiber is under sa tension, doon nakalocate yung ating pre-stressing Tendon. And yes, by the way, yung ating palang ano, uh, eccentricity, hindi ko napakita kung nasaan. No? So, ito yung ating eccentricity. Kaya nga, yung ating P is nagkaroon ng moment dito. Ayan na. P, P, uh, PI multiplied by E, moment yan. Then, divide lang natin ng S para maging stress. This is ano, uh, bending stress due to pre-stressing force. Ito naman is bending stress due to loadings. Ito naman is compressive stress due to pre-stressing Force. Ayan. So, this is our situation number 25 from Seaboard exam, May 2017 and May, or, or sorry, November 12 for structural engineering and construction. And kung na-enjoy nyo yung aming discussion rito and marami kayo natindihan sa aming discussion, uh, you may subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye!